I just got out of the shower like 20 minutes ago. Look at this. See this little curl right here that's like chilling there? Look at this one. Pull it down. This thing is way longer than I thought it was, and then it just springs right back up. <laughs> I always wondered if I never started actually having my hair straight, what kind of hair I would have ended up with throughout high school and all that, middle school and all that. Quarantine has given me full blown freedom. I really don't give a shit. Yesterday, I ended up making a video about, you know, obviously season five and everything, and I tried my best to cover as many things as possible or whatever. I could cover a couple more things here and there. I'm still on my obsidian grind here, and uh, at this point, I I still need to do my Odin. I have all of these weapons obsidian and obviously with them adding the new, uh, you know, weapons into the game or whatever, I'm gonna have to get the obsidian AN94 and the obsidian ISO, which by the way, I've been paying attention to people talking about this gun, uh, making videos on this gun. I haven't seen any actual like stats on the gun or whatever, but I'm pretty sure this gun is just really not that good. In multiplayer, yeah, it stands up to other weapons, but it just loses in so many scenarios. Like the only time I ever felt like that this thing was competitive was at like this weird medium range. And I'd have to hope that they were using something else that just wasn't an MP5 or something. And if I'm feeling like that in just multiplayer, you can succeed with it, but it's just not that good. Most efficient ways to play? No, I've wasted most of my life playing in one of the most inefficient play styles ever. But it works, at least well enough to the point to where they wanted to go and nerf it anyway. I'd love to see what Treyarch is going to do to the sniper rifles uh, this time around. This year, I mean, yeah, snipers kind of ended up getting a sniper rifle that doesn't work and all this other stuff. Given, they did fix the Rytek AMR. They did fix it. So if and when I do hop on the war zone, I will mess around with that right tech. I haven't seen anyone use it or anything like that. Obviously, just give it a few days. I'm sure people will try it out. Most people are running Bruin MP5. That's the most sweaty thing. Most people are not sniping. Let alone going around and sniping with the right tech AMR. I think we'll definitely see a lot more people use it and stuff, you know, with it going around and everything. But so I've just been running around in regular core, just playing kill confirmed and stuff. Uh, I ended up passing out last night. I was Dead. I've yet to actually have like another 100 plus game on any of these maps 6v6 10v10 or whatever I was so used to all the shipment numbers that I was getting to the point where I was annoyed when I only got like 80 kills now on here it's like I'll think I'm having a good game and I look at the score and I have like 30 kills the progress is just abysmal man the multiplayer is just Ugh. how did this game survive this long like, free-to-play truly is just broken. How do these guys have, like, this dark aura around them? I have the crow thing, but how are people getting this aura? I, d I don't understand. Oh, yeah, and last night I actually ended up finishing out the, uh, swords. Check them out. We got the, uh, the dual blades or swords or whatever. We got them Damascus now, so. Yeah, they're actually really nice looking. I like this. They're beautiful. Anyone that I've ever killed with these, they always go out of their way to go and pick them up. Come here, buddy. I would actually argue last night after using it as well. I'm not going to call it overpowered, but I think that those might be... As far as just raw killing potential, the dual swords are just insane. They're so good. Like, close range, if you end up in a small room or even on, like, shipment or something, I was just swinging and people were dying. The range is surprisingly long. It's longer than it even looks. Oh yeah, hold on. Wait, I have to turn on my uh, filter thing. There we go. Now things should be a little bit uh, crispier. Everybody just plays so slow and just so scared. It's just dead. It's the world's longest execution. Right here we got the uh, dual kodachis. Uh, I just call them swords or blades or whatever it is. I have been waiting for these for such a long time. Most of the challenges really weren't that difficult. I mean, it's just general kill enemies while injured. Uh, most of the time, most guns in this game kill you instantly. So you're either dead or injured anyway, anytime that you ever swing on anyone. Kills from behind were really easy to do with stun grenades and things like that. Super annoying. It pisses people off, but yeah. Then you got the, the crouching kills there with the thing. If you just slide instead, it counts as a crouch or at least just be ready to crouch. Or if you're like in a hallway and you hear somebody about to come around the corner, instead of you rushing them, you just stay crouched and let them run into you or whatever it may be. For knifing, I mean, everyone's guns in this game just kill in one bullet anyway, so. Zero recoil weapons, they all kill incredibly fast, it's just, it's easy. Kills near smoke, I mean, people use smoke grenades everywhere in every single lobby just trying to unlock Bruins as well. So those kills were super easy, and then there's like, there's like three or four different challenges that are just to kill enemies. And then there's the streaks, but it's only ten of them. It's not very difficult to get this thing, Damascus or whatever, so. 
whenever you go over here and you go to put Damascus on it, it looks pretty cool, but the handles are kind of, you know, eh. Now when you got this, though, since it's got gold on it and everything, whenever you go over here and put this on, this looks really cool, having the red wrap still around it and everything. This just looks way better, in my opinion, so. And, of course, Obsidian just does this whole thing to the entire thing, which I would still probably use anyway. If I'm gonna use any type of sword, it'd probably be, like, a samurai sword or some shit. You know what they need to do? They need to add a fucking glaive. Why? Honestly, at this point, why not? This is the class setup I'm running, by the way, on the uh, the Odin here. It's just compensator on here. Got the biggish barrel on here, even though I would argue that you probably wouldn't even use its range with this, but it's whatever. You go to Commando Foregrip because it does bounce around to the side visually anyway a little bit. Got the stock because this gives you the fastest uh, ADS speed of all of the other attachments in the game next to uh, the laser or whatever. So the stock and the laser almost always have the same ADS speed bonus. So I just go with this. The only downside is aiming stability. Usually I would worry about, you know, having ammunition or whatever but we just put on sleight of hand instead in multiplayer just so you can reload way faster and the sleight of hand reload on the odin is super nice so compensator plus commando foregrip with this on here makes this thing just deadly accurate if it bothered me enough with the iron sights and stuff like that and i wanted to have a bit more range i could always take the perk off and then just put like some sort of optic on but it's it's multiplayer most of the time you're not making any of those shots like that as far as whatever i ran with the dual blades i just use like the usual setup that a lot of uh you know knifers would use so i go double time I kept going on here some people use high alert other people use restock and things like that but I, I just kept ghost on just because in multiplayer people are constantly cycling them even though a ton of people still use ghosts you need every advantage you can get with uh knifing or whatever i would also even argue that you could use specialist with it if you wanted and then the third perk i use tracker you don't need to you could use spotter you could use tune up or something like that uh, for a while i actually ran tune up so i can get dead silence more often because then it made it way easier to kill people from behind they made some sort of adjustment to the audio with this patch that came out that it makes everybody so easy to hear it's disgusting it made some sort of change to the uh footstep audio where whenever you're running now i don't know if this is just specific to warzone but i'm telling you i can hear people better in multiplayer as well so I i'm assuming it affected everything now if that player that is tactical sprinting just straight up stops and crouches doesn't move just stops and crouches go completely silent and then he would be able to crouch and just walk pretty pretty quietly it's not completely silent but very very quietly in comparison they made it so the volume kind of ramps down so when your tactical sprint volume of your steps are going up and then when you stop it's supposed to be immediate but instead, they changed it into a thing where that audio kind of makes it sound like it's fading instead of just stopping altogether. So now you can't be as sneaky in a game where you already can hear the size of people's fucking boots. So yeah, these things, when you go to inspect them, I mean, look at it. <laughs> it is so nice, man. I, these are so cool. They're everything I wanted them to be, and they're honestly stronger than I thought they would be. kills fast. Odin's strong. It's just not the type of gun I would use. Why use a slower firing weapon when I can literally pick a semi-automatic that does more damage, is easier to control, and has a faster time to kill? Talking about the foul, by the way. Yeah, when you hit somebody in the upper chest with this thing, they, like, die instantly. Ikea still won't hit us back about getting our, uh, our, at least a refund or whatever the fuck for all those items and shit that just disappear. Uh, hey, yo, uh, can I get the majority of my order? This is gonna take forever. This is a nightmare. Like, the fact that I would actually rather play on the most broken and busted shipment of all time just for the sake of completing challenges so I don't need to play anymore. Do I really need to say more? No, man. Warzone's starting to look real appealing. I'm not gonna lie. And stimulus solos are or I don't need to play COD at all. Am I kidding? I'm gonna be back here feeling terrible about not finishing my Odin, so I'm stuck. I'll worry about getting the AN94 and the uh, ISO uh, Damascus a little bit later. I just want to finish this shit. Like, oh, there's so much still. It just feels like there's still so much without shipment. I'm going to have to find some sort of magical playlist that somehow is able to help this because I, I don't know what to do. Maybe I should like hit up Hammy and try to figure out how these guys even do anything without shipment. I can't believe I get on this game just to get spawn killed and I somehow enjoy it. But I don't. But I want... This is some sort of fucked up system, I'm telling you.